Hey y'all, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a January's favorites video or the January, my January favorites video. It's going to be a favorites video, okay? I don't have that many favorites to go over, um, mainly because I haven't really tried too many new products lately, but there are a few and I really like them so I figured I would share them with you this month. Please don't forget to subscribe and yeah, let's just get on with my little handful of favorites. <laughs> The first little makeup item I want to share with y'all this month is this Maybelline Master Prime Face Studio Primer um, Blur and Redness Control. And it is the one in the black and green tube. It looks like this. I featured this in a video a couple videos back. I'll leave a card for it up here. And it was just like a get ready with me with new products. So it was like the first time I was using them and I didn't really go into detail about them because I didn't really have a feeling on them yet. But I really like this. Now, for redness control, I feel like it does an okay job. But for, like, blurring and smoothing my skin, I feel like it does an excellent job. Like, just as soon as you put it on, and I'll kind of show you. It comes out in this, like, white kind of pasty form. And as soon as you put it on the skin, it's just so buttery and so smooth. And it just makes your whole face feel like that. And it's just like a really great foundation for your foundation. <laughs> so moving on to, well, we're, we'll do like a skincare thing first. So this is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. Again, I featured, actually I featured a lot of this in that video. So if you haven't seen that, I actually put them to work in that video. So check that out. But um, yeah, love this facial spray. I love it for primer like instead of using like the primer I just showed you on days where I either don't wear makeup or just wear a little bit which is like never I will use this as a primer and I also use this not really as a setting spray but just to give my face just a little mist and a little extra hydration because as you know my skin's really really dry from this medicine so I actually use this any chance that I can get because it's so good and I didn't put that on today so Let's just do that now. And it smells like roses, which it can kind of smell like um, like an elderly person perfume, but it's, I mean, I like it. It's kind of, kind of refreshing, but it kind of reminds me of like, um, like old ladies at church or something. I don't know. It's, it smells good. It's a good smell. <laughs> so continuing with the like makeup products, this is the Maybelline Master Contour Light to Medium palette I guess so this is what it looks like and again I featured this in that same video and I didn't really have any many thoughts on it because I was using it for the first time but I literally use this every single day now I didn't use it with the makeup I have on of course but um, I'll link that video up here also as well if you haven't seen that it's a Valentine's Day makeup tutorial um, I just want to use something different but I use this on an everyday basis now these colors are not very dark and are not, um, probably not something I'll gravitate towards if I'm doing a dramatic look like I have here. Um, but they do have, I think, one other shade palette. Uh, it's like a darker one, obviously, but I really, really, really like this. This is just a beautiful contour shade. I don't use it to contour. I use it to bronze because I never contour my face. But I love this blush. It is a little pinky. Um, here, I'll swatch it for you so you can kind of see what I'm talking about in case you didn't see that video. Now, it's really, really pink. Um, hopefully, you can see that in the camera, but it's really, really pink. And I'm really pale, so that's probably why it's so pink. But on my skin, if I just like, just very light-handed, just bloop, bloop, and then on my face, it's fine. Like, it's not really that pink, and it's not a big deal. And you can always blend it out in case it is like too pink for you. And then this highlight shade right here. It doesn't show up that much like I wouldn't compare it to like a ColourPop um, highlighter or anything it's not that pigmented by any means this just gives you a nice flush of I guess shine and which I like on a day-to-day -day basis now if I'm going for a dramatic look like I have here obviously I'll wear a um, brighter highlighter but this is great for every day I love this especially for my dry skin my skin looks pretty dry and crackly all the time so just adding this on top of my cheekbones down my nose it just gives me that extra bit of shine that I have been lacking these past few months so next up is an actual foundation which I'm not going to go into too much detail because I do want to do like a full review on this 
but this is the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. Now, if you watch YouTube or live in this world, you know about <laughs> this foundation. This is pretty much been all over YouTube the past couple of weeks. It's gotten so much hype, so I really wanted to try it, and I love it. Now, I did film a first impressions on this, but I scrapped it because it was just so bad. Like, like I didn't know what I was doing, and I don't know. It was just bad. So, the more I've used this, I've, like, kind of understood, like, how to work with it and, like, what tools to use with it. So, yeah, I really, really like this. The finish is great, everything. Not going to go into too much detail. Again, full review will be coming soon, review and demo, because I just like to, I like for you to see, like, how it actually looks on the skin rather than me just telling you. Um, but for reference, this is in the shade, um, I guess it's vanilla, and this is what I have on my face right now, and I love it, and it's, like, the perfect match for me. So, again, this is the shade vanilla awesome foundation. So the next product I'm fixing to talk about is has also been all over YouTube for probably the past couple of months and it is this Real Techniques Diamond Sponge and I'm pretty sure I featured it in that same get ready with me with the new products and I was having trouble using it with my foundation. I was saying that it wasn't giving me like the full coverage foundation look that I wanted that I usually get with those two foundations and I was using the sponge wet, which is what I usually do with sponges. But over the past couple of weeks that I've been using this, I've noticed that I love this dry, which is very weird because I've never used a sponge dry and never wanted to, never even wanted to try it. But I was like, there's got to be some other kind of hype about this. And I love it dry. Like, I used it dry with this foundation today, and um, which you saw in the last video. And I just love it. I mean, it just gives, like, a really great full coverage look. And I'm starting to like it wet as well. So, when it's wet, it gets huge. I will just wait a couple of minutes for the water to really, like, soak up in there and, like, settle. And then I'll go in with my foundation, and I feel like it does kind of um, sheer it out just a little little bit but enough to where it's not like like I don't get a cake face because I am so heavy-handed so I'm starting to like it wet but I also I just really really love it dry so if you're having trouble with any sponge not just this one try it dry and see if you like it that way so this next product is a ColourPop product which I have not found a product from them that I do not like or even love so this is no surprise to me but I think this was a limited edition ultra matte lip because it is in this like frosted bottle with the black the matte black top and um because i got it for christmas and i think it i don't know it was some kind of like special christmas thing they were having which i did look on their website last night and they still have it so that's awesome if you like this color but this is in the shade perky and i've worn this in a video before and i've worn this on instagram and people always ask me what shade this is and it looks like this in the tube and i'm going to swatch it for you and it is just the prettiest, like, rose, mauve shade. I hope the camera really picks up, like, the true beautifulness of it. Like, it is so gorgeous. And on me, it is a little bit darker than it is on other people, I've noticed. And that's because I'm the color of a sheet of paper. So, if you're any darker than me, this will look, like, just amazing. And I, I love it the way it looks on me, but it is a little bit dark. Um, but during the summer, oh, I cannot wait to wear this when I'm tan. This is just like the perfect shade, like just the perfect shade. I love it. And for my last product, it's actually a hair product, which I don't really do much with my hair at all. Like I just, I'm just not, I don't have the patience for it. I don't know. Is anybody else like that? <laughs> I actually got this from my FabFitFun box that I got for Christmas. And um, this is the, oh, I should have tried to pronounce how to say this first, Mar Mar Marrakesh? Marrakesh oil? I don't know. It's Argan and Hip Oil Therapy. It looks like this. And I've never heard of this brand or anything. And I usually don't use like Argan oil or any type of oil in my hair because I'm just so used to it being oily. But now with that medicine, everything's so dry. And um, so last night, I actually put this in my hair. Like I just put like a, I don't know, like a dime size pump in my hand, rub it together, and just put it in my ends. And because I was noticing that my hair was starting to get really like dry and straw like just from being so dry from the medicine. So I was like, I have this. I should probably try it out and see like what I think about it. And I just got out of the shower. So my hair was still wet. So I put it all in my ends and kind of, you know, just fingered it through. And then I brushed my hair so that any excess 
would go all throughout my hair. And usually my hair is like super frizzy and just not not very pretty at all after I get out of the shower and it air dries. But this is actually my hair air dried. Like this is how it looks. I feel like it's a lot more shiny than normal and it's actually like really, really, really smooth. Like I'm so impressed by this. I was actually <laughs> going to put some more in my hair last night but I was like, mm, better not overdo it because I don't know what it's going to do. But I really, really like this and I just cannot believe like overnight my texture of my hair has changed just from this. So I'm not really sure like where you can get this but I, I mean... I would assume any type of argan oil would do the same trick, but like I said, I'm not used to putting oils in my hair, so I don't have any, so this is just, this is awesome. And this also says it's a hairstyling elixir, and that you can put it in wet or dry hair, so even if you already have, like, your hair air dried, or, you know, whatever, you can always put it in your hair, and it should give the same effect, so I really, really like this, and the scent is really good. All right, well, that was it for my favorites video. I know it was super short because I didn't have that many, but what I did have, I feel like, I feel like it was really good, like, like quality over quantity, right? <laughs> and as always, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it and found it helpful and maybe found some new products that you want to try, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all.